I have your brother, Lucien. I have an indiscretion to confess. This is not easy for me, but I gotta say it. Lucien's not your full brother. Mama? He's your half brother. That is, you have the same mother, but different father. That is, you have a different father. What? What are you saying, Mama? I'm saying that 14 years ago, in that Saratoga at one summer, I met this lovely man, a professor, a Yankee professor. We are both. Got to be quite friendly. I got carried away, and you were the result. So you had an affair behind Daddy's back. Hugh Chilmark was not your daddy, and he did it to me first with Brody's sister. You mean Letty? But she was a slave. It happens all the time. I was convinced not in my household. That girl Letty, she was so beautiful. The man had to be a downright saint not to resist her, and Hugh was no saint. He admitted everything to me. Everything. I had to get revenge. I believe you're just making all this up just to hurt me. How could you, Susan? How dare you think so little of me? Think little of you? I hate you, Mama! Susan! Where did you get this shirt, boy? What, sir? It's mine. It's my shirt. You're lying. I... My place has been robbed twice this month. You, you better answer me truthfully or I'll thrash you. It's mine. I, I swear, this shirt is mine. No, it's not. <sighs> okay, okay, fine. This shirt is my brother, Lucy and Dobson Chilmarks. You're lying. Lucy and Dobson Chilmark has no brother. I am Lucy and Dobson Chilmark. Oh. Oh. Easy now, Susan. Lucy, and she's coming too. You are the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. I'm Fanny, Lucian's mistress. He's coming right now, but don't you be scared. You'll be all right. His bark is worse than his bite. Thank you, Fanny. Susan, I'm sorry if I hurt you, but I'm sure you get a, enough of that from Charlotte, your mother, don't you? Yes. Don't forget, I lived there once. I know what she's capable of and that she doesn't care much for either of us. That's part of why I left. I can understand that. But, Lucien, are you sorry we met? I'm not, but I bet you are. I'm not asking you to like me right now. And I never asked you to run around in my clothes so that I would haul you out of a crowd for questioning. Our meeting today was completely accidental. But necessary. I'm not sorry we met either. So why are you two girls and my brother? We're collecting silk dresses for a balloon. A balloon? For the Confederacy? Oh, I love it. And you two girls have been choosing to collect them? We often. These balloons are big, beautiful things, like the South. So it only seems right that the South should have one. I, for one, couldn't agree more. And I would be happy to help you. But I need to ask, do you know what me and my girls do for a living? That, me, that is, me and the other women that live in this house? Yes, we know. We do some very dishonorable things, with men, no less. Knowing that, would you still be willing to donate your dresses, that is, if you, and help us, that is, if you decide to do so? It would be an honor to have your dresses. Thank you. Then we, for one, would be honored to donate them. And help your cause. I am so glad you want our dresses up along, up there alongside the, the south. <laughs> <laughs> up there alongside the fine ladies of the south. Oh, oh I yes. know what you're trying to say, but you're just too overcome with patriotism. <laughs> yes, we are. Well, come here, girls. Come on. It is a wonderful thing you're doing, girls. Oh, thank you so much. And that's why I have an aversion to watermelons from that day forth. Oh, what amusing stories you tell, Tim. It's always such a pleasure.
pleasure to have you over for dinner. Oh yes, yes, you are very welcome to come over at, at any time. I agree with Susan, it was a wonderful dinner. But I'm afraid I must leave you now. There are still the bodies of southern gentlemen that need proper burials, and as a fellow southerner, I must do my duty to them. You wouldn't understand, you Yankee. If you don't like the presence of a Yankee, then be off with you. Yes, yes, I'll be going. But the door stays open, do you hear? Well, Lucian, always a joker. Oh, yes. Yes, he is. He seems to expect me to put you in a compromising position. <laughs> well, I'm sure that his concerns are well-founded, you insolent Yankee. What makes you think I'm the sort of woman to be compromised? Nothing but the fact that you are a flirtatious young Southern Belle. Lucian thinks that you are quite the coquette, and I say, I do agree. You and Lucian, always thinking the same thing about everything. You're just two peas from the same pod. Now, that may be, but I warn you, miss, I don't feel very brotherly. Oh, my. I suppose that was very naughty of me, wasn't it? Probably brought up Southern Bells, don't kiss men. But I don't feel like a Southern Belle any longer. In fact, I don't like the South at all. It's corrupt and I hate it. God's teeth, I wish I never made that balloon. Say, Timothy, would you help me destroy it, please, for me? Well, when you put it that way, all right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you. You are so wonderful. I know, right? I am. Hey, boy, what are you doing over here? <laughs> oh, God, wait, you're a girl. Please, sir, please let me go. I'll let you go once I see how much of a girl you really are. <laughs> sister, and you'll always be my dashing, charming, brave older brother. Well, all right then. <laughs> 